Hey everybody, Coffee and Chaos here, and welcome back to Satisfactory. So, oh, where am I? In the last episode, well, between last episode and now, um, I had to do quite a bit of work on the power station, because it turns out we uh, had some deficiencies there, so I had to do a few little tweaks to uh, bring it back online and make it work, and I'll hopefully be able to showcase the showcase that this episode so you can see what I did and why first things first though we are going to get rid of all of this stuff here uh, there and let's get rid of you you and oh oh we're actually completely full uh, let's go ahead and get a crate over here. Also, I have this little double ramp thing so we can drop down a floor and then run right back up if we need to. Just kind of makes it convenient to go any direction. Might do a few of those here, there, everywhere. Alright, let's do that. Oh, gosh. Um, maybe I'll just put all the rods in here. There we go. Give me the rest of the goodies. And what do we have here? A uh, plate and a rod. Cool. Uh, let's take a look at what we have. Lots and lots of... Yeah, ingots. Can I toss some ingots in here? Yes! There we go. Just to get rid of these and let them craft something. Oops. There I go again. Okay, how about we pull the coffee mug out, as it seems to be the safest thing for me to do anything with. Um, let's see, we're going to need a splitter. Let's try and get our plates done here. Oh, I've done so much little background stuff <clears throat> that I'm not sure what I said I was going to do in between episodes. <laughs> Um, let's see, we need... Let's get a merger here. Oh, we actually need more rods. There we go. It's good to hear everything crafting. I feel like we're starting to make some progress here, slowly but surely. Oh, also, I did go ahead and update the uh, to-do list. It has stayed static for a couple of episodes, and I made it... Just made it make a little bit more sense. So, obviously, we're going to be working on reinforced iron plates and rotors. Um, after that, I'd like to start working towards getting some modular frames. I did go ahead and handcraft some of those, so we could go ahead and get our basic skill production set up. Um, filling the smart plate factory, that's something I actually did in between. You can see that we have nine smart plates on the way, ready to go. Let's see if I can get this lined up. There we go. Um, so yeah, those are going. I think I need a few more reinforced iron plates before the smart plate factory will be completely efficient, but we got the exact number of rotors that we needed in there. And we did that from our downstairs assemblers that are also soon to be deleted. There we go. I'd really like to start working towards some other things, too. Um, you'll notice that I have notes um, not just about getting steel research complete, but uh, and steel smelter, but improving coal power, that's big on the list, and part of that is exploiting cotarium, sulfur, and quartz. We need to find uh, patches for all three of those, and then start exploiting all of them. And the biggest one on that, I think, is going to end up being Sulfur. Because that way, we can go ahead and start getting some Nobilisk. And with Nobilisk, we can exploit any patch we run into. Okay, let's see. Do I have... 
Actually, I do have a decent number of plates. We should be fine. One, two. One, two. There we go. go ahead and get all of our conveyor lifts done first. <clears throat> and then we'll come back. So in between episodes, I was also helping my wife. Since we're dealing with Fixmas, may as well talk about Christmas as well. Um, she decided that she wanted to pull out the Christmas tree. Now, as I've mentioned before in other episodes, we have an Australian Shepherd puppy. Now, anybody who's not familiar with the breed, Australian Shepherds are essentially very intelligent crackheads and so you introduce something new to their environment and they say aha something new I want to chew on it this goes for the Christmas tree so if you hear any yelling in the background of Nelly no that is likely my wife trying to discourage the dog from the other room I absolutely love that dog to death, but man, she is a handful. Alright, almost have all of our conveyor lifts done. And let's try not to jump off the edge, that'd be great. Um, I really need to unlock those railings really soon. Uh, we might take a break after we get this iron plate setup done and go take a look at getting basic steel production and maybe see what we're looking like for, uh, what do you call it, uh, the awesome shop tickets. I think that'll be a good use of time. Oh, uh, I need to go this way. One, two... plates um okay i am gonna run downstairs and let's grab some more of those um what is the quickest way down i really 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 need those what are they called you probably said it <laughs> i'm recording these back to back so um if you've already commented on the last episode you're probably going to be screaming at this now going what are you talking about we just told you is it a hyper tube I feel like Hypertube is the name. Whenever we go upstairs to check, I will find the name. Okay.
man, we are making so much progress right now. I'm really curious to see what kind of solutions I'll come up with once we start looking at... Um, oh, damn it. Um, assemblers and more complicated production. Hopefully we can find some solutions that are as elegant as this. I'm sure someone out there has something much more elegant than this, but I'm pretty satisfied with it. Alright. It's like Factorio belt work, but in 3D. Wiring looks good. Some of the machines are functioning, some are not. That's because they're backed up. All right. <clears throat> uh, how did I do that? Let's see. We, I think I split the difference. There we go. We got plates and we have rods. More concrete. Um, no guts, no glory. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this. I'll probably take that ramp up. Mm, yeah, we'll go this way instead, actually. I don't want to live that close to the edge until we at least get railings, if not something just a little bit sturdier. Alright, heading over here to our hub. Doo -doo -doo -doo. First things first, hub terminal. Let's hear what she has to say. Ada. Milestone reached. Steel production unlocked. Foundry grants access to new, simple steel parts. An additional project part can now be constructed. Progress to the next phase is now possible. Alright, progress to the next phase. Um, what did I just unlock? Oh, that was the last thing in tier three. I thought that uh, I thought that we actually had more. Okay, so we got steel ingot, steel beam, steel pipe, versatile framework, which I don't know what that uses. I'm going to assume that it's probably going to be made in an assembler. Uh, let's see, and new shop products. All right, so what will our next thing be? Well, automated wiring is kind of a no-brainer. That's going to be the last thing that we need. Um, We could actually knock improved melee combat out pretty quick. An extra hand slot would be nice. And inventory slots. Alright. Hyper tubes! Okay, it is called a hyper tube. Um, yeah, that would be really nice to have. Especially to be able to go up and down through the floors. But we do need steel pipes and encased industrial beams, which are unlocked here. Okay. Logistics Mark Three needs all steel stuff. Oh, but that will get us power storage. Okay, I was saying last episode, I know that batteries were a thing. I've never used them before, but I have plans to use these to really bulk up on our power usage. Or storage, I guess I should say. Um, conveyor belt Mark III's would be really nice. We don't already have stackable pipelines? Huh, I guess we don't. And these will be really nice. We could actually double up on our storage. That would be great. And also double up on throughput, since it has 
two inputs, two outputs, so that's kind of nifty. Um, I think I'm going to start with improved melee combat. We'll go ahead and knock that out. That's going to be six minutes from now. That's plenty of time to gather some of those goodies. Um, huh. I guess there's not a... Oh. I guess there's not a way to get a coupon unless you're at a uh, awesome sink. And I can't afford to make one, so uh, let's head down here, see what our awesome sink currently has. Woo! You know, maybe as we get a little bit closer to Christmas, a little bit later in the month, maybe we'll do like a live stream Christmas special. A live stream Fixmas special. Oh, eight coupons. All right. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Maybe we'll do like a... I don't typically do much on YouTube live stream. I've, I've done a lot on Twitch. But I would actually be willing to hop onto YouTube and do a YouTube live stream, you know, get it straight onto the platform, and maybe we just have some fun as a group and just mess around making a small Fixmas factory. That'd be kind of fun. Um, what was I going to? Over here. Okay. Um, what have I already said I need. Okay. Absolutely want that. That's going to be one of my eight. I have seven left. Ladders would be really nice. Stairs would be really nice. <clears throat> if nothing else, I could use stairs. Or... Oh, actually. How about industrial railing? Industrial walkway. That would give me walkways and railings for everything else, which would help me get up and down from all of my floors. That's seven points. Uh, did I have... Yeah, I did have the pipeline. Factory ladder's going to be three. You know what? I can wait for a couple more. So for right now, let's knock this out. This is going to do several things for us all at once. And just out of curiosity... So, it's just plates and rods. Two rods to one plate. Nice. And the industrial railings are just four plates. Easy peasy. What's considered the inside? Like, if I wanted to put these on an outer wall, I guess this is technically the inside looking out. I like a good railing. I like knowing I'm not going to fall off unless I do something stupid like jump. That's kind of nifty. Kind of nifty. I think I tried to say nice and nifty at the same time and it just came off wrong. I guess I won't put anything there for now, since I'm kind of messing around with all this. Very cool. Well, now what do we want to do? Um, one thing we could do is we could grab everything we need for the improved melee combat now. That might not be a bad move. We could knock that out really fast. and get the Xeno Basher. I think I remember using that, and I think I really liked it. It's like a big old electric baton. Grab 
grab those Christmas gifts while I'm at it. Holy crap. Oh, I did end up adding more of these power stations here. Um, what am I doing? I'm going over this way. Just to uh, jumpstart the factory. Turned out I needed a little bit more juice to get it going again. Alright, let's get 200 for this. I'll grab another 400 just to be safe. And we need one, two, three. That's 1,500. We'll grab one more to be safe. Um, and then we just need rotors, which we have. And we're going to need 50 of the reinforced iron plates. Which I really should start looking at doing some of that stuff now. Getting into some assemblers. Um, need to go down below. Uh, what do I have on here? Wire and cable. Hey, just enough. Oh, really? Oh, hey, I'm clicking the wrong damn thing. I want to keep rotors going for a little bit. At least until we can get these automated upstairs. All right. <clears throat> Speaking of, looks like uh, we have almost 50 smart plating completed for phase two. Let's go ahead and jump over all of this. I bet I could get some catwalks here too. Just curious, what do they end up looking like? Huh. Oh, there we go. Mm, maybe. Could be kind of handy. Maybe I could, like, run something up over here. What does it come up like? Two meters? I think it's about two meters. Yeah, okay. That's kind of cool. We will definitely play with that. Um, let's fill that in before I fall through it. Alright, let's get our improved melee combat knocked out. This factory is a bit of a maze right now. Hopefully I can clean that up a little bit. Make it make a little bit more sense. Alright. Rotors, plates, wire, cable. And Ada. Milestone reach. <coughs> R&D inflated your pocket dimension, added an additional hand equipment slot, and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. Hell yeah. Ooh, we got our foundry here. Oh, the foundry needs modular frames, so we need to start getting that automated now. Um, let's get this equipment workshop over here. So, what do we need for Xeno Basher? Another Xeno Zapper. Okay. Got that. Um... Three more modular frames. Okay, question is, can I do that and still have everything else I need? I 
Aha! There we go. All right. So we still need more hand slots to hold things like our chainsaw, but we're getting there. Um, oh, right. In between episodes, I did a thing. <coughs> I found more mycelia. And I just need, let's see. Can I make, here we go. Make a little biomass there for you. When I was over by the power plant, I cut down a couple of those big old balloon structure tree things. I don't know what the hell you call them, but... So, that unlocked fabric. And if we make some fabric, we can make parachutes. And another hand equipment slot! Ah, ha, ha, ha. here we go! Alright, this is absolutely worth creating... Where is it? Rotor? Rotor, rotor, rotor. Uh, need screws. Let's get that done. Okay, so we need like another 40 rotors. You know, I think I had some screws down there. Rather than handcrafting all these, let's go grab some. Oh, I might have actually... No, yeah. I don't think I actually have the screws I thought I did. Yeah, I actually had them. But I turned all of them into... Uh, what do you call them? Uh, reinforced iron plates did that while I was off screen. So yes, I need to handcraft this really quick. I am excited to get a few of these unlocks done. Oh, we could get a little bit more silica. I found a little bit more quartz. Um, we still need to tap into a quartz deposit. And I'd really like to get some trucks going. Ah, so many things to do, so little time. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and pause the recording here, and I will jump back when I have all these rotors completed. Okay, I am back, finished up all of that handcrafting, and now we can go ahead and... Oh, <laughs> okay, well, we can grab this, and... Crap, I actually need 50 fabric? Jeez, okay, luckily this one crafts way, way faster. Um, I can only make 10 more, though, because I need to crap. See, here's, this is, <laughs> that's what I get for saying, oh, yeah, I'm just going to get all the handcrafting done super fast. You won't have to watch any of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but luckily, this is much faster. We only need uh, 50 fabric, and we'll be able to unlock that extra hand slot. And that means that everything is going to end up being equipped, so we'll not only have more space, we'll be using fewer slots to make everything work. So, I think I will get... Actually, that's enough right there. Alright, going back to Mycelia. As much as I like to avoid handcrafting when it comes to little things like that that make a huge difference, belt has been expanded. it is so, so worthwhile in my opinion. Oh, man. So let's take a look at our Xeno Zapper. Or our uh, Xeno Basher. Alright. Now we can take out some aliens really efficiently. Um, I don't think there's anything else that we can get here. Let's see, medical properties, and that'll unlock some other stuff over here. It's probably going to be another way to get some nutrients or like a health boost of some kind. Um, I would love to get this for the extra inventory slots. I'd love to get the Blade Runners. Oh, that only needs 50. Oh. Unlocking the Blade Runners would be very, very nice. Um, 
how much of that do I need? Oh my gosh, I need to get some more plates. Um, you know what? I'm going to stop doing this nonsense for a little bit. It's very clear. We need plates. We need modular frames. We need rotors. We need them automated. I need to stop screwing around, so let's go knock that out. Um, now, the real thing is, how much do I need? We have the capability to get some decent throughput here. Um, I don't want to be frivolous with how much I'm building. You know, I don't want to do too little or too much. But... Hmm. The other question is, do we want to go up another level or do we want to come over? I think we have space to come over. Um, as far as things that we can produce, what else can we make with a constructor? Well, the answer to that is surprisingly quite a bit. Um, I'm not worried about anything copper related. I'm not worried about, yeah, this is copper related, copper related. So ignore those. I'm not worried about anything steel related because we're gonna do that in a separate location. Screws, I think... Uh, I think I almost want to do that locally. Or local-ish. Hmm, that's a good question. I'm gonna have to figure out something for screws, because they seem to always take up a lot of space. Uh, color cartridges don't need don't need to worry about any of this other stuff. It's all kind of that's all kind of handcrafty onesie twosie stuff, save for the biomass, which we already have automated on the side. So I think we're actually done for the most part with constructors, save for when we want to do screws. Now assemblers, oh shh. We need plates and rotors, so let's get downstairs and get that now. Um, all few further plates and rotors will be going towards making, <coughs> excuse me, assemblers for myself and for the factory. Um, did I have an easy location? I guess I gotta go over here. Well, I'm glad I at least put some of that stuff in here. Go ahead and turn our flashlight on since it's scary down here. Ooh, do I not have any more plates? Oh, well, I definitely can fix that. Let's get another 200. Rotors seem to be doing their thing, going along swimmingly. Nice. So, wait, where's our... There we go, we got 50 of those. Alright, should be just enough to get some of this started. I know I definitely want more than just one or two. Uh, let's just get up there, build an assembler, and we'll do the math while we're upstairs. Here we are on the assembly floor. Assembler. Are there any other crafting things we need? Not yet. Okay. Uh, first things first. I think reinforced iron plates are the no-brainer because we're going to use those for modular frames as well. And so we're going to need plates and rods. These are going to be rods and rods. So rotors are actually going to be super easy because it's just going to be move a bunch of rods off to one side, and then with those, make as many screws as we need. Huh. Thinking about that, though. <laughs> okay. One to four. Um. Okay, it turns out I need a constructor here so I can do the math. Alright, 10 per minute equals 40 screws, 
So 25. 25 iron rods is going to be... Am I doing the math right in my head? 40. See, so yeah, I need 2.5 assemblers. Twenty-five rods plus twenty rods, that's forty-five rods per minute to run one rotor producer. Damn. Um okay. And if I were to do the same thing, but let's go ahead and go over here. So thirty plays per minute, easy. Sixty screws per minute. So let's say we got 4, 8, 12. So three of these would be one tier two belt, which is enough to fill two productions of this. 60 iron plates per minute then, 120 screws per minute. Okay. So maybe we really only need a pair of these assemblers. Um. Damn. Well, that would be half of our production. Alright, let's play with this for just a minute. Uh, I'm going to give myself... I don't know. One, two, three. Well, let's say we had at least... Put a wall here. A space here. And we had an assembler. Right? And that assembler is more than one tile wide. Ooh, okay. Okay, that works. Uh, you know, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and ignore... I was trying to center this on this tile, but I don't think it's actually worth it. I think I'm better off just ignoring that. Right there. That connects perfectly. Okay, we've got reinforced iron plates. Right. <laughs> okay, how much space do I need? It's going to look like underneath. Ooh, is this high enough? Oh, man. There's no clipping. Would you look at that? Not bad. Okay. Go here. These are plates, right? Yeah, making the plates here. Okay, let's get downstairs.
I'm gonna try and find the most elegant way possible to do this. And that way is... Oh. Uh, let's get a splitter. make sure that this actually grabs. Yeah, okay. We'll get another splitter. Okay, okay, okay. And then let's do the same thing, but on this side. I'm going to grab you. Uh, grab that, okay. Turn this the right way. Nice. Okay. So these on the outside will be for screws, and these on the inside will be for plates. And we're going to go ahead and walk this over. One, two. Plates go up. Now, we need to try and find a nice, clean way... Will constructors clip down here? They will. So I need the constructors up above making screws. Which, I have this extra platform space. I think it'll be perfect for it. I think I have an idea of how this is going to work now. Yeah, so we could actually... Yeah, we can make use of this. Let's actually run this out. Alright, we're reaching the edge. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's six right there. Trying to think of like what would the most beautiful method be for this. I've got a vision I don't want to uh, speak into existence yet. Let's see if this will work. How did I manage this over here? Yeah. I think the best way to visualize this will be to get a splitter here. Yeah, that's the one. So get rid of this. Get rid of you. Um, actually, get rid of the floor hole because I can make this right. One, two, and three. 
One. Two. Three. Um. Will I have enough space down here? I should. Right? Right in line here is where we have our splitters. Right? And we'll have splitters here. We've got a belt running here downstairs. And we do have a chest that's in the way. So somewhere downstairs we're going to have to route uh, some rods coming up and over. So let's build some constructors. I probably sound like I'm speaking nonsense right now. I'm hoping that you understand what I'm trying to do. Um, the end goal is I want multiple belts of 120 screws each. Let's hop on to the other side here. Make this screws two, three, four, five, six, and we could double this up. Um, actually, that's a good question. Six of those, that's 60 iron rods per minute. So we could actually do 12 of these with one belt coming in of rods, uh, one Mark II belt. And have four Mark II belts of screws. Ooh, I think I like this idea. Okay, let's make it happen. Three, four, five, and six. everything down. Alright, let's get over here. Can I copy the floor lift hole? There we go. Perfect. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Oh man, we're out of plates. Uh, let's see if we can grab a few off of the constructors. Wait, really? Oh, we have to go all the way down to the end. I wasn't expecting to automate screws right now, but here we are. Do, 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 
do. There. We are going to burn so much power. I can see why everybody needs nuclear power now. And, uh, what's the oil power? Is it something fuel like turbo fuel? Is that what they're calling it? I've watched some videos of Satisfactory, and it turns out, like, when I see someone else's factory, I end up looking like spaghetti, and I just don't understand what's happening. I'm hoping that with my factory, not only will I understand more of what's happening, but you guys will understand more of what's happening, too. I want a factory that everyone can make sense of. Now... <laughs> Easier said than done. Because, good grief, there are some highly talented players out there. Okay. Got reinforced iron plates there, reinforced iron plates there. Cool. Um, are those hooked up yet? No. Let's get this hooked up here. Grab that. Grab. Mm, get over here. Let's make a nice big power grid on the ceiling. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, are we missing any of our connections? Yeah, we're missing this one. Cool. Uh, looks like we're already getting our iron plates, so that's good. Down here, we're going to need to go underneath to get uh, screws hooked up, so let's do that now. I might need to actually stack these. Uh, no, quick question before I go. Sixty per minute. Wait, really? Oh. So let's get four of these. Ah, we need. Starting with two, let's go downstairs. Uh, over this way. Gosh, I wish I had a jetpack or something to go up and down these. This is 95% of my commute is running up and down here. Okay, plates are doing their thing going here. Um, down here splitter. I can actually go around this. Spacing here. So there, 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 there. Let's run cabling here. Not cabling, but belting. Okay. 
need splitter. Okay. Now we just need splitters every tile for like what 12 tiles Oh, is it raining? Oh, cool it is. Love it. Not that I can experience it down here, but hey. Did I do that backwards? I did. Okay, all of that is in line. Okay, so we need to get these to come down. I may as well have them come in. I'd like a merger. There we go. One, two, three. Okay, how am I going to do this, though? Because I need to move them up and over. Let's do three of these first, right? You're gonna go there, you're gonna go there. But... Three, four... Uh, let's go to Logistics, Stackable Conveyor Pole. a little bit high, isn't it? Oof, that's like in the floor. Yeah, that's way high. But two of those I can make work. Alright, get rid of this merger. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And instead, do a merger going this way. Coming in here. That moves in this way. That connects there. We're going to repeat this. Towards me, to the right, to the right. All right. Into there. 
there and to there. There we go. All right, problem solved. Everything seems to be hooked up now. Good, good, good. And now we just need to take you. Uh, there we go. Got it. Okay, got that. You're going to come up to here and go from there to there. Wait, what are you actually complaining about clearance? I'm not sure why. Everything seems to be clear. Okay. Um, so that's three stacks right there. Obviously, we'll need to upgrade those to Mark IIs. Okay, now, the last one here... I'm going to need to do something about this. These are all going to go right to left. Let's get this over. that's hooked up. Oh, will that really not clear? Oh, that won't clear over the top of this, will it? Sort of? It kind of clips through and I don't like it. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan, so I'll do this. And from here down... Oh, wait, what am I doing? We're getting the rods... I already figured out that we're wrapping the rods around the other way. So that actually doesn't matter. Okay, I need to visualize this a little bit. Let's come over here. So... We've got... Iron rods there. We need 60 going over this way. Just for screws. Let's run this over here. That way, that way, into here, okay, we can modify this as needed, but this gets rods into the system. Now I've got three stacks here, 
I've got one stack left that needs to be fed into the system. So those two are for uh, plates. This is screws. So I think what I actually need to do is route these back around. Now I could, if I so chose, uh, choose to route it out of here instead, kind of change all those splitters, but I don't think it's worth the work. So instead we're just going to go around the back here. One, two. And let's go as far as we can. There we go. That'll be screws coming into here. And all we need is for the system to get primed and start pumping out some goods. And we will be able to upgrade all of our belts in perpetuity forevermore. Amen. Or at least that's the plan. Mm, don't want to bring them over this way? Yeah, we could kind of do them in line. Uh, let's get... Lift Mark 1. A merger. And, you know, I'm not sure if this is snapped or not, but just to play it safe, I like to actually redo these to snap. I've, I've been doing that automatically this entire time because it's just been a habit, and I'm not sure if I developed that from the last time I played or what. So, Rods are doing their thing. Oh, look, screws. Screws, screws everywhere. Alright, we're getting some movement. Um, yeah, we're going to need lots and lots of those plates. And it's going to take a hot minute until this whole system primes all the way down to the end. But we're at an hour and eight minutes, so I think we'll probably go ahead and call this here. Uh, let's head upstairs just to double check see what things look like all right yeah all told it looks pretty good I'm overall pretty satisfied Yeah, it's just going to take some time before these actually start to back up. And these are getting there. What I could do, though, is I could grab some screws, throw them in here, just to see the system work. Oh, we're actually starting to see some screws in here? I might have thrown those in earlier. But yeah, there we go. Our first fully automated system. We don't have to hand feed it anymore. Over time, it will just continue to run. And we have very much needed that. So that right there is going to be 10 uh, reinforced iron plates for a minute. Pretty soon here, I think I'm going to double that and make it 20. Um, we have enough throughput to make that happen. So that will be cool. Yeah, because we'll just need a second set or a second Mark II belt of screws. So, awesome. Thanks so much for being here, guys. If you enjoyed this, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment with your ideas, your thoughts, suggestions, whatever you're thinking. 
And if you want to help the channel grow and you haven't yet, make sure you go ahead and hit that sub button. It's the best way to help the channel grow. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.